Hello everyone, Amy R here with Prairie Paper and Ink, and I have a quick and easy masculine themed card using elements from the latest Simon Says um, August card kit. So I did my die cutting before I started filming and I die cut some Simon Says Ivory cardstock, slate cardstock, and the pattern paper in the kit with um, some of their stitched rectangle dies. And then on this smallest die cut, which is the ivory cardstock, I'm using the Cracked Pistachio Distress Oxide Ink. And I'm just lightly smushing it just on a scrap of um, acetate here and then spritzing it with water and then pressing it all over this ivory cardstock to create a really fun splatter effect. So the first bit I used a little bit more water so I quickly dried it with my heat tool and then I'm doing this over and over again and I sped this up about like 400% or whatever. Um, and I'm just going back and just adding more and more splatter till I've almost covered this piece. Now this is just ivory cardstock, this isn't watercolor paper so it doesn't play nicely with too much water but I didn't use a lot however it did warp this a bit between just the water and I'm um, using my heat tool to kind of speed up the heating, the drying process. So I decided to line this up in my Misty and use my big magnets to hold this down because it's a little bit kind of warped and whatever and I want to make sure I get the sentiment stamped perfectly. So the one thing though I really love about the Distress Oxide is I only use the one color but these oxides they'll kind of change color when they are mixed with water. So I end up having like kind of the minty green color as well as that more cracked pistachio almost like aqua sort of color on this piece of cardstock which I love. And I am really glad I lined this up in my Misty because I stamped the sentiment several times with Simon Says Intense Black Ink and because I was stamping it over like kind of the divots and everything that I kind of created with all that water, um, it did need to be stamped like I think two or three times to get it as black and intense as I wanted it. And that stamp is from the new You Plus Me stamp set that comes in the kit. It's also available individually. I will have links to everything um, in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. So I adhered the slate cardstock die cut to the pattern paper. And then for this piece that I had splattered and stamped, I used a generous amount of foam tape and pretty much coated the entire back of this because that will hold it flat and completely flatten it back out. So I adhered that and then my card base is some Simon Says Mint cardstock which goes perfectly with that Distress Oxide ink. And I'd already cut it in half so it's um, four and a quarter by five and a half so standard A2 card. And I lined it up in my Misty again here so that I can stamp this large um, kind of angled border stamp. I decided to kind of stamp that on an angle. Normally I was going to stamp it just along like the bottom of the card because I'm just, I'm very linear with my thinking. like everything just lined up etc so stamping things on an angle even usually I kind of have to like stop myself to think of that so I did that with this stamp and then I decided to actually line up the sentiments on the inside as well like line them up along that stamp so chose the sentiments I wanted that's another reason why I really like this set is there's a bunch of different sentiments that you can mix and match and build and create it for different occasions so I decided to go with um, love everything about you and then I chose one of the little outline heart images from the set Lined that up along that border and then inked it up again with that intense black ink and stamped it a couple of times to get it stamped perfectly clear and crisp. So once I have all of that done, the inside of the card's done, so now I can adhere that um, card front that I'd already assembled. So I'm going to adhere that with my ATG adhesive, just running that along um, the outer edges of that pattern paper and then putting some down the middle. And then I'm going to adhere that to my card front and decided to add just one little bit of embellishment with these pink fresh live more puffy stickers that were in the kit. I normally don't use, you know, stickers, especially like anything like that is just not something I'm really into, but I kind of like these stickers and they, they really are puffy. So they're kind of flexible so I can, you know, adhere them over, you know, little bumps and that like with these layers of cardstock and they adhere really well. So I chose the two that I thought would go best with these colors and that finished off this card. It's a really quick and easy, um, great card for the guys in your life. So like I said, there will be links below the video to my blog post. There'll be links to all the supplies you used to check that out below if you're interested. Thank you all so much for watching, subscribing and thumbs upping my videos. I really appreciate it and I will see you all very soon in the next one. Bye.